Every year, the students at a high school are given the musical aptitude test that rates them from zero, well, no aptitude, aptitude <laughs> to five, high musical aptitude. This year's results were in a frequency table. Find the average or the mean aptitude score. So first off, the frequency table, this three tells us that we're three zeros. So if we were to list all of these numbers down, not necessarily the way that I would want to do this problem, but some students do it this way. Five ones. There are no twos. There are three threes. There are three fours. And finally, there are two fives. So we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There are 16 total scores in this frequency table. So to find the mean, we have to add all of these up and divide by 16. The fast way to do this is just to do the product of the frequency and the score. So this would be the numerator. So 3 times 0, 0, plus 5 times 1, which is 5, plus 0 times 2, again 0, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 4 times 3 is 12, and finally 5 times 2 is 10. That would be equivalent to adding up all of these individual numbers. This way saves us from having to write down what the frequency table represents. Now, the denominator, how we got 16, is just adding up the frequency numbers. So we end up with 10, 22, 27, 36, numerator is 36, over 16. Now this, of course, we would verify with the calculator. And dividing by 16, 2.25. So that's the mean. Now for the median, if you wanted to Count how many, let's see, there's 16, there's, there's an even number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. There's a gap. So there's 8 on the left and 8 on the right. There's not a number right in the middle, the median. There's a gap. So this is where we do the mean. Add those two up, the 1 and 3, and divide by 2, because there's two of them. To get the median. If there's an odd number, there will be an actual number in the middle. If there's an even number, there's a gap in the middle. That's when you mean the two next to the gap. The other technique would be the percentile method. Doing the 50th percentile of 16 numbers gives us 8. And then we do the mean. If you get a whole number with the percentiles, you do the mean of that one and the next one. And the 8th and the ninth are the 1 and the 3. Same result, finding the mean of the 8th and the ninth term, giving us 2. All right, I hope this helps.